Before I had my surgeries, life was dark. I was in pain every day. All the medical professionals have really let me down. I was trying to take matters into my own hands. I was just tired of no answers and solutions, so I just figured maybe I can help myself. When I saw my dad on a visit, I was significantly underweight and I could barely lift up my bag from the baggage claim. I could barely get into the car and my dad looked at me as soon as I sat in the car and he literally said, you look like shit. Taking matters into my own hands really didn't give me the solutions that I needed. It really actually made more cause more harm than good because I was developing bad food relationships. So I was eating food that I thought wouldn't cause a problem, but it was actually affecting my weight and I would be eating very, very clean and then losing a bunch of weight and then gaining a bunch of weight and then losing and then gaining just because I would not stick to something for so long. So every night I went to bed and I would pray. <laughs> I would pray for God to just take away my pain and just like heal me overnight. This was a routine thing all of the time. I found a doctor that helped me, diagnosed me and everything, but he said you have a really long journey because you need all these corrective surgeries. So what I think people don't prep you for when you're going to surgery, like yes, of course you're having this surgery and it's definitely life-threatening, so you're scared going in, but when you wake up afterwards, the recovery day one is just overwhelming. I had my knees replaced at the exact same time. And what they don't prep you for is the mental toll that it takes. So do you ever just do something and you're not really 100% sure why you do it? That was my experience when I saw somebody posting about pure therapeutic ketones. I knew what ketosis was, but I wasn't really sure maybe they could help me. Within a few packets, I significantly better. And I knew that this was a powerful healing tool for me. However, we can't just take products and not change anything else. So there started my quest for understanding the power of the ketogenic diet, the power of drinking ketones and having a lifestyle that could incorporate carbohydrates and really getting results based on nutrition and products. Since it had such a powerful impact on me, I knew it was my mission and responsibility to share and educate other people on this lifestyle and how it could be such a powerful experience for somebody else if they just would try. Five pillars of health, nutrition, hydration, movement, self-care, and sleep. Once I started implementing these for myself, I started to get real results. And I knew that I had something here that I can actually help and teach other people to get the results that they're looking for as well. I love our community on our social platform because of how supportive and loving everybody is. I love the fact that when I reflect back on my own journey, I didn't have that. So it's super important for anybody that's coming into our circle. They do feel supported. They are understanding that there is light at the end of the tunnel. They understand that they can do this lifestyle however they see is best for them and will support them along their journey. Whatever that journey looks like, they have somebody there and that's so important to me because I didn't have that for the entire time that I was on my own journey.